putting a bait tank in my boat here. You want to see it? There it is. It's all a mess. The cockpit or where the that thing, that big triangle thing that you're supposed to put in the boat. I'll put up a picture. That thing costs 80 bucks. And I'm already uh, probably 300 with the pump and the hoses without the bait tank. Just all these little fittings, man. They just cost so much. This is like 50 and this is a... 40 this pumps like 50 i'm gonna jimmy rig this but it's supposed to be like a triangle and it's supposed to use special sealer and it comes up but it's basically this right here i'm not paying 80 bucks for that little piece that looks just like this i didn't want to do a home depot job this is salt water is uh jacks those things up like this little thing like that would get jacked up in the salt water uh not only do i have ins but i have outs that go in the boat too i got this big long hose it's got to go to the back of the boat that costs like oh my gosh that thing was expensive that that thing was like 40 bucks it's just crazy over there then i had to get these fittings because this tank i took off the fittings just to see the whole size and i and i forgot the fittings at the place <laughs> at west marines and um I called them up and they said, uh, so I'm probably throw them away. So I had to buy this and that. And then this thing, this thing costs money. This is going to be the um, out valve to release the water. So it's going to go like this. And then when I'm done with the bait tank, I will open this up. But I mostly got the bait tank because I weigh like 170. So when I sit on the side, we're over here. The boat like totally tips. And then plus the engine, I have a kicker too. That's going to go on here. I'm totally doing a wheelie. Got this just to kind of even out the boat. This is going to be a battery for the trolling motor. This should even it out the ride at least. I won't do the bait tank as much because it's going to be like 30 bucks for a half scoop. The thing's expensive now. So on good days where I'm going to fish all day long, I'll probably get one. And then I'll just have to like use the bait, um, bag it and freeze it because I have a little freezer. And then use it some other time. This is just going to be a safety valve to shut it off. And then the pump just hooks up to the battery. And then I run all the hoses. I should be done. I marked where I wanted it. And then that little rock is a magnet. And then underneath the boat, there's another magnet. And now that's where it's going to tell me the hole has to be. Everything's clear. Start the hole from the bottom. Because I could center it better between the bent pieces. This isn't for aluminum. It's for wood. I'm gonna use this because it's the closest thing I have to the same hole as the thickness is that hole right there of what I need to put in the boat. So I'm gonna get it pretty close and then whatever. I hardly ever use this thing anyway. So if it gets jacked up, it's okay. I'm gonna drill that and then come through the top part. Look centered to me. How does it look to you? It's amazing to go way out in the ocean and the boat's that thin that's crazy all right now i gotta go from the other side and drill it out okay there's the hole now i'm gonna take the wood woody wood part woody woodpecker and drill it out yikes that's that it almost fit in there but not quite. So I'm gonna use this tool here to ream it out. Now it drops really nice. I got everything to fit, even drilled these holes out. So now I have five holes in my boat. I'm gonna use this adhesive sealant and seal that, 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 and around here. Here's what I got. I probably overdid it by a little, but I guess it's better to have more than not enough. Well, let's check it out. Got it in there. Mm, any tips? I'll have two people help you. Well, she'll be there all day long trying to get that thing in there without it dropping down because of the gravity. That's all sealed up. I don't think it's going anywhere. 